Hello, this is Daedalus with Nerds and Stuff. In this thumbnail tutorial, I'll be teaching you two different techniques that I use to paint lenses like these. Let's get started. So the first technique I'm going to show you uses a clear coat on top of metallic paints. So to start that, you just put down a shiny metallic paint. Kind of this little circle will be my lens. You can use any metallic you want. I like the, how the silvers turn out when you put the clear coat on, so I tend to use them. Once you've got that base shiny paint down, that metallic, you want to follow it up with a slightly lighter one. And then you want this one to just kind of follow the curvature of the lens almost. I also took this lighter metallic paint and gave it the little ting that you often see on gems and lenses. You can do this afterwards with white, but I wanted to see how it would turn out. Then all you need to do is add your blue clear coat on. At least for me, I like blue lenses. You can do red or green or yellow or brown, I mean it's all up to you. This stuff is really thick, it's kind of like a gel almost, so you've got to be really careful putting it on not to let it clump up or to let brush strokes show. But you only need a little bit, just enough to cover it and kind of give it that blue tinge. Now we're going to get started with like the layered painting technique. So I'm starting out with just kind of a darker blue. This will make up like the inner cover of the lens. So this will cover all of the, we'll say like the inside. And once it dries, we're going to come back with a black. And this will actually cover, we'll say the upper third towards the light source. And this will be like right around where the, the light is actually hitting the lens. The color doesn't quite come through because it's washed out by the, the ting in the direct contact. So now I'm just kind of smoothing it out and making sure we've got nice transition edges so it doesn't look kind of odd anywhere. Next we're going to take a lighter blue and this will make up kind of the bulk of the color following the curvature of the lens. And you don't want to cover up the darker blue you've already done because you want to be able to show a little bit of transition, just like with a gem. Now that I've got the medium blue on, I'm going to follow it up with a really light blue. And this is like the, the lens flare, so I'm going to put the ting in the black area, just a little dot. Some people like to do two dots to show an inner lens, and then kind of a flash just along the edge, so that it looks like the light is catching there at the edge of the lens. And that's pretty much it! Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If so, please subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when additional tutorials come out. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll answer them as soon as I see them. And until next time, happy painting!